dinosaurs. These reptilian creatures give a whole new meaning to the word dangerous. Some have huge bone crushing jaws, some have claws big enough to put Freddy Krueger to shame, and others are just downright lethal. And today, we'll be seeing the most dangerous dinosaurs from each of the continents we have today. First, we'll do a brief summary on them, explaining what they are and their strengths. Then, we'll go over four stats, which will be speed, stamina, mobility, and fighting. By assessing these four stats, we can see if you can run away from it, outpace it, outmaneuver it, or beat it in a fight. And as well, before anyone asks, no, I'm not going to include any mega theropods like T Rex or Giga, because although they are probably the most dangerous creatures to ever walk the earth, it would just be a little boring, in my opinion, to add them. And finally, if you do enjoy this style of video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe because I'll be posting more videos soon and that means a lot to me. And also what you could do is check out Vividin Paleontology Evolved because his videos about deadly dinosaurs directly inspired this one. The first continent we're starting in will be Asia. And this continent does have a menagerie of possibly life-ending dinosaurs like Achillobator, Velociraptor and Tarbosaurus, but I believe there's one more dangerous, and that is the very strange looking Tyrannosaur called Aeloramus. This small and slender Tyrannosaur belongs to the Aeolia Raymini grouping, a subgroup of Tyrannosaurs made for fast speed. A modern day group that mirrors this quite well is actually the big cats. Imagine T-Rex and Tarbosaurus as the tigers, Daspletosaurus and other pack hunting Tyrannosaurs as the lions, and the Aeolia Raymini as the cheetahs. Aeolia Raymus itself measured at 5 meters in length and 700 kilos, meaning this perfectly engineered body allowed it to get to speed fast enough to lap Usain Bolt. Meaning for the average person like you and me, if the dinosaur wanted to catch us, there'd be no saving us. As well as this impressive speed, it's also still a tyrannosaur, meaning it had one heck of a bite due to its tyrannosaur lineage. Now we know a little about the dinosaur, let's have a look at the stats. In the speed area, to no one's surprise, it's getting 5 stars, because only the 0.1% of humans to exist could possibly outrun this dinosaur. In stamina, it's getting a slightly lower score. Since we don't know how long it can actually run for, I'm going to use modern day animals as an example and the fastest land animal we have today is the cheetah, and that can only run for 30 seconds, so I'm going to give the Aelia Ramus 3 stars, because I think with that amazing speed, it didn't really have to be running for that long, because it could catch anything it wanted in a couple seconds. In the mobility score, I'd give Aelia Ramus 3 stars again, because although it is fast, I'm not too sure how good it would be at turning, and the final category for Aelia Ramus is the fighting tier, and this guy would get 5 stars in that category, meaning there's no perceivable way you could beat this dinosaur in a fight. It's taller, longer, and heavier than any human to ever exist. So overall, Aelia Ramus gets a 4 star rating, meaning only the peak of human evolution could possibly survive an attack. Next, we're going to move away from Asia and move into Africa. Just like in the modern day, there's a catalogue of animals that can put an end to your life. And in the Mesozoic, there's one dinosaur I believe could do this relatively well. And that's the Abelosaurid Rugops. This small size Abelosaur is small enough to perceive humans as food, but also still large enough to easily overpower them. At 4 meters in length and 400 kilos, it's also made for high speeds, just like Aeloramus. But due to its smaller size, it could more effectively stop and turn, meaning it had the edge when hunting small game. One thing about Rugops which is rather strange is its hunting style. In 2018, Delcott proposed the armor like dermis found on all Abelosaurs may have been used for headbutting, which then means this dinosaur effectively becomes a 400 kilo battering ram. So now we know a little bit about Rugops, let's get on to the stats to see how it does. And I'll be honest, it does pretty well. First in the speed tier, it gets 4.5, because although it is still incredibly fast, it's a little bit slower than Elioramus, making it slightly easier to outrun. In the stamina tier, I'd give it 3 stars, because of its smaller size, it'd take more steps to cover the same distance as Elioramus, but then again, because of its small and stocky size, it could possibly be a long distance runner or be slightly more energetic than Aeloramus. In the mobility score, Rugops gets 4 stars. Because of its smaller size and weight, it'd be able to turn and stop quicker, giving it the advantage when chasing down humans. And in the final category, we have fighting. And Rugops scores a solid 4.5. Because although I think Rugops beats pretty much every human to ever exist, there's still people like Frank Deverox, aka the guy that fought a grizzly bear to the death, then claiming its life in return for his own. So overall, Rugops gets 4 stars, making it the same as Aeloramus. The next continent we have is North America, and this continent along with many others has a ton of dinosaur species, so it's kind of hard to pick the most dangerous. So instead, I'm going to pick an obscure one, and that would be the small ceratopsian Leptoceratops. On first appearance, this dude looked quite weak I will say, but to prove he's not, let's compare him to a modern day animal, and that modern day animal would be the Pitbull. These dogs have claimed over 76 lives and put 90 people in hospital in the span of around 20 years. But if we compare the two, Leptoceratops is 4 feet longer, 30 centimeters taller, 
and 170 kilos or 370 pounds heavier. And on top of that, a Pitbull's bite force is only around 235 psi, which is still insanely strong, but a Leptoceratops quays that easily, with a bite force relative to a lion's at 800 psi, meaning with this strong bite force, heavy figure and keratinized beak, if it bites onto areas like the arms or legs, it's breaking them before you can pull it away. So now we know a little bit about the dinosaur, what are the stats looking like? Well, in the speed category, Leptoceratops can get up to speeds of 12 miles per hour, which is a lot slower than the average person. So Leptoceratops only gets a 2 star rating, meaning if you have the average speed or even slower by a fair degree, you'll be safe. In the stamina category though, the Leptoceratops gets 3 stars, meaning although it wasn't the fastest, or even the most energetic, it could still put in a good 5 minutes of peak performance. In mobility, I think this guy would be really easy to escape from. You could climb up high, or maybe just turn away from it, and you'd be safe. So, it's getting a 1 star rating. And finally, in the fighting category, I think this guy deserves 4 stars. All it needs is one bite, and then it's broken a bun so badly, the human can continue to fight. So overall, Leptoceratops gets a 2.6 star rating, which isn't great, but just remember it's only the speed and mobility holding it back. Once it actually catches you, it's pretty much over. Moving down south from North America, we have South America. This continent is home to a lot of life, mainly huge sauropods and a large amount of cacodontosaurids, but these are not what we're looking at today and instead we'll be looking at a Triassic Terror, Herosaurus. This early dinosaur paved the way for future carnivores to come, and although it was extremely prehistoric and primitive, it still had impressive weaponry. At 350 kilos, it's a fair bit larger than a lot of modern day animals, so from way to on, you could see it could pose quite a large threat to humans. But wait, is in the end all? What are the weapons looking like for Herosaurus? It had a bite force similar to that of a grizzly, and as well it had two very muscular front arms, equipped with three life-ending claws. Now we know a little bit about it, let's go on to the stats. The first tier is speed. Hera, to put it simply, is outpacing you with an average of 25 miles per hour, there's no hope of running away. So Hera gets 4 stars. Moving on to the next tier, which is stamina, Hera does pretty well. Hera lived in a hot desert and could run for ages without overheating, so just imagine how long it could run in today's environment. So stamina gets 5 stars. Next we have mobility. With this fast speed, insane stamina, and body adapted for chases, I wouldn't be surprised if it was very capable of jumping, turning and stopping in a matter of seconds. As well because of these strong arms, I'd say hiding above in trees would be useless, since small individuals could possibly climb and even larger ones could probably jump and reach you. So it's going to get 5 stars for mobility. And in the final tier, it's getting 4.5 stars. Although it isn't as heavy as other dinosaurs on the list, due to its larger size, it could easily use this to flatten opponents as well as using its claws and jaws simultaneously. So Hera overall gets a rating of 4.6 stars. Moving even further south in South America, we have the most bare continent of all, and that's Antarctica. In total, there's only 5 dinosaurs which roam Antarctica, meaning the list for the most dangerous is a lot easier to pick. So for the continent, I picked a slightly larger dinosaur than I usually go for, and that is Cryolophosaurus. This reptilian dinosaur was huge, at 6 to 7 meters in length, but it was relatively light when compared to other dinosaurs its size. At only 400 kilos in weight, this makes Rugops its same weight, but almost half as big in size. But because of its lighter frame, this gave it a huge advantage over other dinosaurs, making it pose a greater threat to small game, aka humans. Moving on to its weaponry, Cryo had two options when attacking, its claws, and its jaws. Although we don't know the exact strength for its jaws, it's highly likely they're relatively strong. And as well, just on appearance, you can see the length of the skull, meaning when it attacked, these jaws would target a huge area of the body at once. Moving on to the claws though, these weren't humongous like Spinosaurids, but they were still large enough to cause serious damage. So now, moving on to our stats, Cryolophosaurus gets 5 stars in the speed tier, because it was insanely faster than any human alive today by a large degree. Then in the stamina tier, it would get 3 stars, meaning it could possibly outpace you, but I'm not 100% sure if it could, because we have very little info on it. Then the mobility tier awards it 4 stars, because of its lighter frame, it would be able to turn a lot quicker than you'd expect. And finally, the fighting tier, it scores 5 stars, meaning there's no chance a human could beat this dinosaur in a fight. Basically, it was the equivalent of a Mesozoic polar bear. So overall, Cry gets 4 and a quarter stars, making it one of the higher ratings in the list. Moving on to my own continent, we now have Europe, and in my opinion, one of the most dangerous dinosaurs would be Eotyrannus. This early Tyrannosaur wasn't as dangerous as its later cousins, but it could still pose a large threat. At 4 meters in length and 200 kilos, it's large enough to pose a threat, but it's also small enough to see humans as food, 
Since it lived in the United Kingdom during its reign, it had to face many tough opponents. Some were Glanadon, the huge three-ton onnithopod with daggers and thumbs, and as well there were many other heavily armoured nodosaurs. On the stat side, Eotyrannus was incredibly strong. It had an impressive bite force, although not as strong as the Tyrannosaurus to follow it, it was still strong enough to rip off a limb. So on the tier side, how does Eotyrannus stack up? In the speed category, I'd imagine it would be at 5 stars. In the stamina tier, this also awards it 5 stars, and this is mainly due to its diet, which consisted of Mantellisaurus a Guanodon which focused on long distance running, meaning if you could catch his dinosaur, you could definitely catch a human. Then in the mobility tier, it's awarded 4 stars, because with its smaller size, it would be way more agile than the expected Tyrannosaur to be. And finally in the fighting tier, it's awarded 3 stars, because overall this dinosaur is quite intimidating, but I still think there's a decent chance of beating it due to its smaller size compared to the others. So overall, Eotyrannus gets 4 and a quarter star rating. And finally, we get our last continent, the land down under, Australia. This continent is also pretty bare when it comes to dinosaurs, similar to that of Antarctica, but there is one dinosaur I know for a fact that would send people to heaven. And that dinosaur is the theropod, Australovenator. This small sized Megaraptor is perfectly equipped to hunting humans. At 5 meters in length and 300 kilos, it's at a perfect threshold where it would consider humans prey and be big enough to bring them down with no problem. Like every Megaraptor though, this dinosaur focused all of its evolution points onto its claws. One swipe from these claws alone would cause serious damage enough to disembowel an entire human. But when you pair this with very muscular arms for its size, and a total of three claws on each hand, it becomes an almost confirmed fatality on every swing. Just to make it even less likely of you surviving an attack, Ostro is also one of the fastest dinosaurs alive, with speeds of 30 miles per hour, meaning if it wanted to catch you, there's a good chance it will. So now we know the basics of our last but definitely not least dinosaur, let's move on to our tiers. First we have speed, and Australovenator gets 5 stars for obvious reasons. It also gets another 5 stars in the stamina tier, because like Herosaurus, it could run long distances in extreme heat. In mobility, it's also getting 5 stars, because of its light frame it will be able to stop and turn in a split second, and because of its lighter body, it will be able to possibly climb or jump high enough to grab an opponent. And then in the fighting category, Ostro again is getting 5 stars, making this dinosaur the only dino to get 5 stars overall on the listing. Which means there's next to no chance anybody alive or dead could beat this dinosaur in a fight, or survive an attack. And this is my list for the most deadly dinosaurs from each of the continents we have today. Is it the definitive list of the most dangerous dinosaurs? Well, no, probably not. Because yes, although I did pick some of the most dangerous dinosaurs, some of these dinosaurs were kind of here for obscure answers, like Eotyrannus and Leptoceratops. And finally, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like, and possibly even subscribe if you want to see more, it means a lot to me and it helps me out quite a bit. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.